Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Now I know it's been a while and if you are an experienced Minecrafter, you can tell that I'm in the nether. And I was going to come to the nether on camera, but it is so incredibly boring. Honestly, my least favorite part of Minecraft videos is when people go to the nether. I'm just here to show you what I've been doing and then we're going to leave because the nether sucks. Um, yeah, so let me go back into first person. And this is what I've been doing. So I brought in my quarry here, and this is why I didn't record this, because it was so incredibly dull. Hello, Mr. Pigman. Phil, whatever, whatever your name is. Um, so I just brought my quarry here, and I had to keep going back and forth to do the whole, like, uh, what are you doing? Okay. Anyway, to do the whole, like, switching out the energy cells because I didn't want to build any machines without you guys like tesseracts or anything like that so this goes all the way down to bedrock um, and yeah it gave me a whole bunch of materials and the reason I did this is because there's a bunch of stuff that you can't mine without diamond or with diamond I mean if that makes sense so basically like it's impossible to mine what am I trying to say like cobalt I think this is cobalt right here let's see yeah, cobalt. So you need like a really fancy pick for cobalt, and I don't have any of that stuff yet. I had another quarry here, but it hit lava, and I didn't want to clean out all that lava, so I took it somewhere else. Um, so I wanted to get cobalt and things like that, but I couldn't mine it. So I brought the quarry here, which doesn't have any restrictions. I can mine everything. And we're going to go back and see even more changes. So in this, whatever... 10 day, 11 day downtime I've had. I have not been idle. I've been working my butt off. Ah! And as you can see immediately, it's no longer snowy biome. So it's, it's turned to spring here, even though it's not spring in the world. I was sick and tired of winter. I was so sick of it. So I made about uh, 13 diamond shovels and dug out all the snow from here because apparently when you switch the biomes with the wand the biome wand uh, mod that I have the snow doesn't melt for some reason so see that island over there is still snowy and that island over there is still snowy um, because I haven't gotten to them yet and you literally have to dig it all up so I dug up this entire island and like I said it took me 13 diamond shovels and then I got like 10 diamond axes and flew to the tops of all the fir trees that I had and cut them all down and that was a freaking nightmare and yeah so but now stuff like creepers and zombies spawn here again which is gonna sound crazy hear me out let me finish I actually like it's so boring when you live in a biome and you're just not worried about anything. There, I have a video and I'm crafting something and a mana creeper walks up to me and I just completely ignore the fact that it blew up on me. Like I didn't address it. I did nothing about it. So you guys see this bridge and then I built this over here. I've been working on Railcraft a little bit. I only built the stations because I didn't want to go too far without you guys. Like I didn't want to just have like, oh, check out my massive roller coaster that goes around the whole map. Um, so yeah, this... This is just in a little back door into my factory. And then, let's see, I, while I've been doing all this, I've been, of course, killing stuff. So my XP barrel's almost full, which is cool. Um, I'll go downstairs and show you that here in a second. Uh, I've upgraded most of the barrels. I think even this one has an upgrade. Uh, structure level? I'm not sure. But I've upgraded most of them. I've upgraded the... So you need to put structure upgrades first. So like these diamond ones have 15. If you see, it says 10 out of 15 uh, slots used. So you go wooden, iron, gold, diamond, and then it's like end stone, things like that. It, it keeps going. I'm not sure. But then you have to put in storage upgrades. And so this one right here has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of storage upgrades. Um, why does it say zero slots used? That's not right. Anyway, as you can see, I have 519 stacks of cobblestone, and that's because while I've been doing this, I've left this thing running. So, I'm basically going to have millions of cobblestone, which you can eventually turn into anything. Now, today we're working on a nuclear uh, reactor, but let me go show you the other stuff first. Because my power is not, not good enough. Ooh, I need to bust out the bone meal and hit this little spot right here. This is what I've also been doing. Um, where's bone meal? He's in here. Ooh, I'm running out. It's okay. 
still a couple little bald spots. I wouldn't be shocked if there's still some snow here and there on this island. Bone meal, bone meal. There, nice and grassy again. And these trees that I put up all over are acacia. I really like them. They're a good springtime thing. And as you can see, the house is completely gone and replaced with <gasps> a new building. And over there, the Coke ovens are gone. So let's go witness what I've done in here. So we have four Coke ovens. It looks like they're all done. Where's the cart? Uh, what happened? This had two tanks on it. Where's the other one? Wow, this broke. Oh, there it is. Do I have my... Shoot, I don't have my crowbar. I need to get this working again. All right, now I need to stop it before it smashes into that other cart. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I might have to just break them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. All right, and then I'll break this one and we'll restart them. This is how I've been getting this. Um, so I didn't show you guys how to make these and I feel kind of bad about it. So these are tanks from Railcraft, I'll show you. So if you see here, uh, I don't think they're steel, I think they're iron. Yeah, they're just iron tank walls. I couldn't really find the difference. Um, these are black iron tank walls, so I dyed them black. But basically you just, where is it? You put iron plates in a four and you get eight of them. And these iron plates are just four by four in the rolling machine. I actually don't have the rolling machine out anymore because I figured out it constantly drains power. It doesn't hold power very well. So I think it has 500 megajoules, which is the Railcraft uh, power system. Um, what am I trying to say? Capacity in it. But it fluctuates. It goes 500 and then it drops like 50. So it goes 500, 450, 500, 450. So it just constantly drains your power. So I, I took it out. Um, and I'm going to make its own power source. But this thing is has got seven, is that right? 700 buckets of creosote in it? Basically, its capacity is huge. I basically wanted to make this Railcraft building like what Willy Wonka's Railcraft building would be. So just like stuff going everywhere, like totally unorganized madness. And I think I did a pretty good job of that. Okay, stay, stay, stay. Can I put it on here? I can. Okay, no, 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 stop, stop. Link started, link created, boom. Yes! I got it. Uh, we're actually out of coal now, which is annoying. So I want to show you guys how this works. It's super efficient. As you can see, I, ha I now have 22 stacks of coal coke. Um, let me go find some coal real quick. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. All right. So as you can see, 64 in there. How do I turn off the... Wayla... Hidden. There. 64 stacks in there. And it'll come through. Where is it? There it is. So it comes past, comes down, and then watch. So it took seven. It's going under, and see, on. Oh, did it drop all seven just in here? Oh no, it dropped them all, okay. So it drops one in each, each oven. Then it'll come back and grab more, and then as these finish, which I'm not gonna wait for. Uh, these drop the, uh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? The creosote into the two tank carts. And I made it two because one wasn't picking up enough. So it had to be two. And then it puts it into this, which is a liquid unloader, which puts it into this tank. And in this new biome, jungle spiders spawn and they barely hurt or anything. They're just incredibly annoying. Where is he? See? Barely- oh. Oh gosh. Baddies out here. Oh gosh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go sleep real quick and I'll come back and show you my train station and stuff like that. Give me one sec. Alright, we're back. Uh, I'm sure some baddies stayed. Why are you not burning? Oh, Pesha's spawn here now. This must be a mystical biome. I can't even remember what I made it. There. Die. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been working a little bit on Railcraft and the way these are gonna work. I think this runs this way, right? Yeah, I think this runs this way. So if you watch, oh my gosh, this mana elemental is gonna ruin everything. Let me just kill him real quick. Die! All right, Peshes are good, guys. We'll leave him alone. So you put this on here, and I'll kind of just nudge it. And, oh, 
Come on. It automatically dismounts me. I didn't push anything. So this right here, let me turn Wayla back on. So this is a disembarking track, and under it, uh, there's a player detector. How can I show you that? I don't have a pick on me. Right there? Can I not see it? No, I can't see it. Anyway, that's a player detector. And so when I go over it, uh, it detects me and activates the disembarking track, and that little red side right there pushes me towards the stairs right here. These chests are just placeholders that hold like a bunch of the extra crap that I've been using. Um, I really need an organization system, but these are just what I have right now. Uh, and then, what it's sitting on right now is a boarding track, and on top of the boarding track- No, no, no! No, no, no! Shit. You pesh dick. Wait, he's grabbing all my stuff. Hey, hey, hey! He's gonna die now. Hey, come here. Yeah, bring it. Bring it, bud. He didn't drop my stuff. Oh, yeah, I did. No! See, creepers make it interesting, at least. Uh, well, it saved this for my display. So it's on a boarding track, on a player detector. Leave me alone! Maybe I shouldn't have done this new biome. And when you get in it, it automatically sends you off. Um, one track away, and then it breaks because, yeah. So that's annoying, but part of the game. So as you can see, the way I've been powering these is just one torch, and it powers, I think one torch powers eight powered rails, so that's how those are being powered. And then these go here. They're like the, the warning line, I guess. Ugh. Stupid creeper. This took so much work. That's so annoying. Oops, wrong, wrong place. All this work, I finally start recording, and a creeper ruins everything. Come on. I, I'll fix this later. Anyway, that's, that's this train station. Let me grab another cart, and I'll show you how it actually should work when there's not a big gaping hole in it. Because I have a second train station. We'll go over here and check it out. Fly, fly, fly. All right, so this is the train station on the back of my factory. The way this is all built, by the way, is with little, like, micro blocks and stuff. Um, just to make it look like a really modern type of train station. Oh, jeez. And, uh, like, these are panels and stuff just to give it some depth so it looks a little more 3D. I don't know. I kind of like it. All right, so let's see. It is from this way. So imagine I'm coming in from this side. I'm sitting on my cart. I'm going. Then that disembarks me. You could see it light up real quick there. Onto the stairs. Then I come in here, go do all my stuff, blah, 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 blah. Close the doors behind me, get in, and it sends me off without me doing anything. So that's really nice. Uh, eventually, I'm planning on making like a, a roller coaster or a, a train line around the entirety of my base. And because this is single player, I don't need to worry about it being like incompatible with more than one person. You know what I mean? So I don't have to do like cart loaders and cart unloaders that make the carts go away when you're not there. I can literally just leave this cart here because while this cart's here, I'm in this building. And then when I get in it and go to another place, I'll be in that building, if you know what I mean. Like, so it's it's always in the right spot. Now, today, we are going to build a big reactor. So, I have prepared all these. Graphite, that's what I made with the, the coal. I think you cook coal. Yeah, you smelt coal and it gives you graphite. So that's what most of my coal went to. Let's put some of this junk in here. I'll fix that, that train track later. Um, iron, redstone, I guess. That's about it. I think that's all I need. All right, big reactor. So, at big reactors. So I think for the first one, we should probably make just like the basic reactor. Now, these like cyanite blocks and the turbines and stuff, you have to run a reactor for enough time to get the cyanite because cyanite's a byproduct of ylorium. So I can't make a turbine yet. We'll have to wait for a while. I th think I'm just gonna make the basic reactor. So give me one second. All right, so what we're gonna need is one 
Now let's see, we'll, we'll do the casings first because we need the most of those. We need 21 of those. So what was it? Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So there's the reactor casing. For those of you that don't know how I did that, I cl you click on the reactor casing and then you shift left click on the question mark. And if you have the stuff in your inventory, it puts it in for you. Okay, now we need a fuel rod. Eulorium fuel rod. Need just one of those. This is going to be the most basic reactor until I can get the things that I need to make the bigger one. Making like uh, cryotheum and things like that. I'll show you guys that later. Let's see. Reactor control rod. We need one of those. Where is that? I've got the list up next to me. I wrote it all down. Reactor controller? No, control rod. I do need one of those too. I'm just trying to keep it in order. Here it is. Boom. Need one of those. Awesome. Oh shoot, I need more reactor casing. We'll just make eight more for now. Alright, we need an access port. Okay, I need a chest and a piston. Do I have a piston? I do. And a chest. Access port. There we go. Then we need a power tap. There we go. Then we need reactor controller. Oh, wow. I'm missing a lot for that. Casing, 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 casing. Elorium. Wait, how was it? No. Redstone. Elorium. Elorium. And then a diamond. Good thing I got loads of diamonds. My scroll wheel's kind of messed up right now. That's why I keep grabbing two things instead of one. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. But I'm going to take apart my mouse today and fix it. No big deal. There we go. All right, so this is just going to give me the absolute most basic version of it. So we also need to grab some power cables. Let's grab the advanced ones. I think four will be enough for now, hopefully. Um... And yeah, let's get going. So I'm just going to put it down here for now. Actually, out on that island that's over there, if you look on my minimap, that snowy island that's that way where the bridge leads to, I'm going to build like a uh, three-mile island type thing. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a nuclear island, I think, off of New York. And basically, it's going to ha house all my power stuff. That way, if anything does explode or go horribly wrong, it happens off on that island and nothing over here is ruined, which is the way to do it. All right, so my power generation needs to go on, let's see, I guess on this side? No, it just needs to link up like here before any of these power cells. Right? Yeah, so I guess we can just build it like here. Like I said, I'm going to move all of this, so right now it's not a huge bother. So it's three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three by three. Oops. Ugh, scroll wheel. It's been like scrolling without me actually scrolling it and stuff like that. It's super annoying. I will fix it promptly. I don't know why I didn't have a pickaxe on me. What's wrong with me? Come on. And I'm out of space in my inventory. Of course. Ruby axe, go away. Alright, now we'll put the access, or excuse me, the controller here. That's how you like, well, you know, control it. And then the access port doesn't really matter. I guess we'll put the access port over here. And then the power tap over here. And then the fuel rod where the yellorium goes, goes in the middle. Oh, that provides stone light source. That's cool. Then I guess the rest of it will be reactor casing. Yeah. So then reactor, 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 reactor casing. And then we make a donut. And then we put the controller right there. And then, oop, boom. And you see the texture change. That means this is a working reactor. 
Now I have boatloads of Eulorium dust. I don't know why I didn't make that into bars, but while I do this, I actually have the chance to show you what I got from the nether. So I set up this whole thing for pulverizing stuff, and this is all the stuff I got from the nether. So let's see, where's cobalt? I got 12 cobalt, which is actually really good. Uh, cobalt is like extremely, extremely hard. Um, it's not the hardest you can get in metallurgy, um, but it is very, very durable. Vulcanite's also really nice. Steel, I got a bunch of, wait, how did I get that? What does that come from? Oh, pig iron ore? I don't even know. I just threw the ores in here and let it do its thing. There's some weird stuff in here. Anyway, I got lots of good stuff from that. So we'll put some, or make some cyanite. There we go. I made it so this, this smeltery, this mechanism smeltery is much faster. I've also been smelting some stone because, you know, you never know when you need it. There we go. Put the stone away. For now, I've got enough on me, but all of that Yellorium will power us for literally ever. Yellorium, like one bar, takes a really long time to go away. Okay, so now we need to put in Yellorium. I'm not going to turn it on yet because i got to wire it in. So this is the power tab. Oh, what? I need one more. So, we need advanced. Okay, I'm going to go make one more of those. I'm pretty sure I have this stuff. Because the advanced ones transfer more power. There are ones that do even more power. I just don't have enough materials to justify them yet. So we need one basic and two of these, right? I th think that's all it takes. I'm trying to do it without the recipe. Oh, booyah. Owned! All right. And then... We go down here and connect it. So that's all connected up. Let's make sure that doesn't double back or anything. Wait, why is this feeding off? Oh, that's my smelter and all that stuff. But now, this will be a good chance to check. So we're losing about a thousand a second. And now we go in here and we activate reactor. We let it heat up a little bit. We're already gaining it back, and it's not even fully heated yet. Shoot. That means that I really need to get bigger energy cells. Because all this power is just going to go to waste otherwise. Pretty sure this holds some power too. Oh gosh, this holds a lot of power. Okay. So it won't go to waste when it fills up this energy cell right here. It uh, should be okay. Now with the control rod, we can mess with this stuff. I don't know enough about that yet. I'll do some research between stuff. Um, I'm going to turn on do not auto eject waste. Ejection can be done from this screen or via red net, redstone or computer port signals. Because I want, I want cyanide and I think ejecting it would just delete it. So there we go. Basic reactor. It's nothing amazing. Um, between this recording session and next recording session, I will go build that power building and uh, run cables to this island and all that stuff. But power-wise, we should be good now. I mean, honestly, I could probably even disconnect these, but there's not really any point. I have them, so I also need uh, the generators for my jetpack. That's another thing. I need to make a jetpack that runs on power, not hydrogen. Hydrogen's a pretty bad way to have a jetpack. Kind of just excited to see when this fills up. Alright, so next time, the big thing that we need to... Uh, Let's see. To cool a reactor sufficiently is gelid cryothium. Now this is like the best of the best, but I don't even want to bother. Um, bleh, what am I trying to say? I don't even want to bother like starting small and going bigger. Yes, I know I kind of just did that with this thing, but this doesn't need any coolant right now because it's so small and so insignificant. But I'm just going to go straight for the biggest one next time, which you cool with cryothium dust. And... What I did before I switched the biomes 
you guys might have spotted them earlier, was I made two uh, safari nets, reusable ones, and I went around and found two blizzes. Now, these are these things right here. They're awful. They're like blazes, but they shoot snowballs, and they're really horrible sounding. Anyway, I captured them before I switched over my uh, biomes because I needed to... Basically, with these, through Mine Factory, you can respawn them in a auto spawner, so I can have unlimited blizzes, and that's what you make this cryotheum dust stuff with, is blizz powder. So you need blizz powder, saltpeter, snowballs, and redstone, and the big component here is obviously the blizz powder, because if you don't have blizz... If you're not in like a winter biome and you don't have blizzes spawning constantly, it's kind of hard to get a hold of that. And the way you get this is just with blizz rods and you can like pulverize them into more and... Or you could... Oh, I guess there's a way to make it without having blizzes. But I mean having blizzes is a much easier way. So I need to set up like an auto spawning system and that's why I have all of this. This liquid XP drum I can turn into mob essence. And... Um... Bleh. Use the mob essence to spawn mobs, basically. So yeah, that's cool. 